Hey, 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 it's your boy Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News. Back at you with what's happening in the world of boxing today. What we got going on? First of all, we got a fight coming on this weekend. Uh, we got uh, Brandon Figueroa against Maceo. You know what? And this fight's supposed to be Brandon Figueroa and uh, Cool Boy Steph. It, well, the other way around, Cool Boy Steph against uh, Brandon Figueroa. But since uh, Cool Boy is going to be fighting the monster anyway, now we got this fight this weekend. We got Brandon Figueroa against Maceo. And to be truthfully honest, I think uh, Brandon pulls it off. I like his output. When he gets in the ring, he gives you all of it. He ain't trying to leave nothing for chance, if he can get you out of there, he going to get you out of there. And he loves to bang. And, and I love that about him. And the women love that boy. You know, they show out for him. So I uh, th think we're going to have a good fight this weekend. My pick on this fight will be uh, Brandon Figueroa. What else we got in the world of boxing today? Hmm. We got uh, Javante Tank Davis mentions... Uh, Shakur Stevens, and he was talking about, you know, uh, Shakur box nice and everything, but he says, what happens when you finally get hit? And I guess Tank is talking about when I hit you. And uh, that's the same question I was wondering as well. I really never seen Shakur in trouble. When it comes to boxing, that boy is like the Matrix, man. You, you can't hit him, you know? So uh, if him and Tank would get in the ring in those 12 rounds. Could Tank catch up with him and hit him with the boom? Because that's what he does to everybody. He Nobody's been able to stand up to that boom yet. I know y'all saw Isaiah Cruz, but keep in mind, Tank ha did have a hurt hand, you know, so he had to show that he can box in that particular fight. I'm going to be honest. Tank and Shakur, I feel though, are going to be the last two standing. You know what I mean? And that's going to be a super fight. They've even said it about themselves. Uh, it seemed like they were good friends at one time. But now it seems like uh, there's a little animosity. You know, and that's going to happen when you got two great fighters and people are pitting them against each other and wants to see that happen. So fighters are going to start saying things about each other that the others don't like. You know, and that's just the bottom line. But all that does is makes a good fight for us. We want that bad blood to come in the ring. It ain't no friends in boxing. You get in there and you fight. And afterwards, hug it out then. But up until then, we ain't boys. We need to fight. That's what I like about Spence. Spence said, I'm willing to fight anybody. I'll fight y'all, I ain't got no problem with that. You know, like Mike Tyson said, you know, you want to be my friend? Fight me. Help put some money in my pocket. You know what I mean? That shows me that you love me. When you can make sure that I can get paid. You know? That's what I'm talking about. Let's make these fights happen. Because lately we ain't been getting fights happening. We were so excited to see Jay Paul and Tommy Fury. Really? That's how we have been reduced to, man, I'm going to watch that on a Sunday. Boxing, we got to do better. We have to do better. Moving on, what's happening in the world of boxing today? <laughs> Eddie Hearn, <laughs> Fast Eddie. Fast Eddie said, you know what? Broner used to be a draw. Broner was must-see TV. But he said, Broner's not the man no more. People are not coming out in droves to see Broner anymore. And if I was to able to offer, uh, you know, Broner, you know, a package deal, he might not like it because he's used to making a lot of money. As we all know, the fight fell through with uh, Broner and his last three supposed to have been people that he's supposed to have been fighting. You know, BLK couldn't seal the deal. Somehow it was an omen on that fight. Who knows? 
I've never seen anything like that where you lose three consecutive people you're supposed to fight. That's my first time. And like I said, I've been watching boxing since I was eight years old. So th that's a new one on me. Not to say that it hasn't happened. I just ain't seen it before. So what do y'all think? I mean, where does Broner go now? Do you feel, though, that he burnt his bridge with PBC Al Heyman? You know, he definitely burnt his bridge with Jay-Z when Jay-Z offered him $40 million for Rock Nation. I know y'all know, like, Jay-Z ain't in the boxing world no more. But Broner's known for burning bridges, keeping his emotions on his sleeve. Broner need to and get that money because he's at the twilight of his career right now. People don't believe in him no more. He says he's in great shape right now. You know what I mean? Well, you know what? You need to get a fight, buddy. Because I know I just seen you speak out your own mouth, mouth saying that you broke, that you spent all your money, that you was living in a hotel for two years, that you done lost your wife, the kids, this, that, and everything. Man, shh. figure it out, Broner. We pulling for you, man. You have entertained us a lot in life, but it's time to make sure that you have some money left when you walk out into the sunset. So uh, I don't know whether that's a good move for you to leave BLK. I don't know. Maybe you got something already in pipe, you, down the pipe, you know, but you also said, you know, if anybody want me to fight with them, holler at me. You know what I mean? So that's making me think you didn't have a plan B. Well, that's just like how boxing is, man, you know. You have to have a plan A, B, and C. Because if not, you're going to be standing out in the cold in front of a Las Vegas casino being a greeter. Yeah, that's real, that's, that's, that's real stuff there, man. Because that money come fast, that money go fast if you don't manage it correctly, you know. So it is what it is. Man, what else do we have in boxing today? Let me think about it. Well, we, we already know that we still got the uh, the uh, Benavidez plant. You know, that's bu that's been buzzing and buzzing and buzzing. And uh, I can't wait to see that. I definitely want to see that badly. I feel, though, that Benavidez is really putting in that work. Plant is putting in that work. Then they're, they're, they're promoting it like crazy and everything. Last but least... Mayweather, he was in the uh, news saying that, yeah, yeah, I, I kind of shit the bed at the, the O2 Arena in London. You know, it didn't end up the way we wanted it. People didn't show up. They end up discounting the tickets. My new team, you know, they still knew, you know, they the, the, the tickets didn't get sold, started getting sold to three weeks to a month before the fight even happened, happened, happened. And uh, he said things will get better. But my thing is, maybe people tired of seeing, seeing that, Floyd. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, you say you got plenty of money. I don't know. I don't know what to say. But I know I, I can't tell you one person I know that paid for that pay-per-view. I was talking to one of my buddies the other day. He was like, oh, it was a pay-per-view? I'm like, uh, yeah. I didn't even watch it, man. You know, I didn't look. <laughs> you know, people say, man. I heard people say, man. I didn't even steal that one. <laughs> oh man! But you know what? It's your boy Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News. Make sure that you like, that you subscribe, and that you comment. Tell me the things you want me to talk about. If you disagree with me, say that. I don't care. Let's just talk about it. It's just boxing. This is your boy Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News.